What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a few tips and tricks to Asgard's Wrath 2 here. First would be picking up items. You don't actually need to run over to it, kneel down and pick it up by your hand. You can just walk over to it, point your hand at it, hit the grip button, and there you go. I don't know what I was doing here, but simply letting go of the item will put it in your inventory. I, I thought maybe you had to put it on your wrist. I don't know. Throwing your weapon, though. You could see I thought you just hit the grip button. It comes back. I don't know why I missed it, but no. What you need to do is hit the grip button, and then you're going to pull your hand back, and that's going to bring the weapon back to you just like that. Check your map frequently. It shows you exactly where to go and what to do. It pops up the mission card there for you. Now, for these little critters, I would say I use your no throwing axe. You. Hit them from far away. You don't want them to get right up on you and start damaging you. He's already half dead before he got to me. Finished him off. Didn't have to use my sword at all. You want to hit those little blue icons with your throwing axe. It'll disable any traps. Now you have access to whatever's behind them. Jumping across the walls. Just hit the jump button one time. I hit it multiple times. You've seen I fell off the wall there. But just one time is sufficient. Dash through the traps. You don't want to just walk through them. You also want to look for little vases hanging by ropes. Sometimes they disable traps or unlock areas as well. Now this room was a little complicated at first. I missed it. I figured it out eventually, but you're going to get into your godly form here. You're going to want to pick up these vases. There's one little platform across the way right there that you got to place it onto. It lifts up these little cliffs you got to jump on. Now that you're back in human form, you're going to go up those two little platforms. And you gotta pull this chain down right there. When you pull the chain down, it's gonna lift up this statue that you need to get access to. So once the statue's up, you're gonna wanna go back into your godly form. Now you're gonna get these little vases and put them either on the left or the right side to kinda match up those symbols. You could see the symbols move and then I aligned them right there. You're gonna have to do that like two or three times before you unlock the next area. There's also an artifact hiding in this room. If there's any more, let me know. Drop a comment below so I can figure out where they're all at. I'll point out the ones I did find. Now that you have it, you're gonna grab the left and the right side of this statue and you're gonna pull him down. That'll unlock the door to the next area. In here, what I found is holding the sword on the right and having the throwing axe in the left hand. You can throw the axe, and then when they get up near you, you can block and then keep throwing. Right, it was very effective go. for fighting. Don't forget to put your items in your item belt so you could use them very quickly. I missed this right here the first time I came in here. I don't know why, but you just gotta grab the hook and put it on the ring and that'll disable the traps. I literally don't know why I just walked right by it. I didn't even notice it, but there you go. In case you miss it too. Check your codex. This appears to be some kind of season pass or something similar to a season pass. There's 45 days left on it. There's 11 achievements or objects you could collect. I got the first one here. Once you unlock it, just off to the right side, it's going to show you what it does. It appears to be some kind of die. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know exactly how to use it. Also, what I found is there's an alliance. You could either choose chaos or order. I don't know the pros and cons to either or, but I went with chaos. I full sent it. Once you choose one, you'll see this little scale pop up. I don't know exactly how it works, but it appears to be like everyone who chose that alliance pushes that either in their favor or not as you progress through the game. But we'll find out. Now, this battle here was probably the hardest one I had. I, it wasn't really too hard, but I learned a thing or two about battling here. So after these guys, 
Another one comes up and he's holding a shield. I haven't battled anyone with a shield. You'll see me try to throw my axe at him two times and it's just block, block. He hits me with a shield. And this is where I really learned how to fight. So you're gonna wanna block and then you'll see those weak points pop up in the red on him. So you'll block and then one will appear and then you need to hit him. So you need to time it just right. Don't be in there just randomly swinging, but throwing axe to the face there. And then you'll see another one throwing axe. I think one more just to finish him off. Once you get him low enough, you'll be able to do a little finisher move on him. You do get character level ups it is an rpg game here you can upgrade your sword your throwing axe or there's something off to the left side there i don't know what it is yet but we're gonna figure it out and i'll let you guys know in the next one but after reading through just pick the one you want i opted for the throwing axe get a little bit more damage there go ahead and hit and hold it and it'll unlock it for you there this room i don't know why i was stuck in this room for so long but as you pull the left and the right hooks you'll see the platforms they move and i was wondering like how you get up there what you'll do is you're going to want to lower the platform on the left side get on it then go back to your godly form then you're gonna pull the hook it'll raise up the platform once you're on it and then you'll have access to everything up on those upper platforms now there's two levers there's gonna be one on the left side and one on the right side you'll have to pull you know each of them to unlock the last area now off to the right side I was wondering how you get up on top of those cliffs oh another artifact there too by the way there's two of them in here so i was wondering how you get up on that top right this is a door right here guys i so you don't even know how many times i walked by that and didn't realize it was a door i just oof but anyway you get up there god form move the platform hit the lever you're good it's gonna raise up this statue and then here's another thing i don't know why it told me i had to hook the hooks up on top there i don't know why I, I tried it the first time and it didn't work but you absolutely need to hook them up on the top right here it was like glitched out or something i don't know because i tried it the first time and man it caused me to walk around for like 10 minutes but once you do it grab the front pull them forward it'll unlock the next area that's about as far as I got for the first day playing the game, but I want to thank you guys for your support and watching if you made it this far. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more tips and tricks videos. And I do got to say the game was awesome. I love it up until this point so far, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Why have you come to Egypt?